So I've eaten and I'm full and I'm hungry no more and I'm angry no more and I'm tired no more. And so I'm going to roughly tell you how my day three went. So on day three, um, well, I started the day with nothing to do. And then I texted one of my friends, she's from China. And I told her, hey, we have nothing to do. Uh, you want to do something together? I texted her after I woke up at about 8. And she said, fine. So we met at 8.30. And I went to TripAdvisor. And um, there was a list of, you know, the main attractions and all. And what attracted me the most was a lot of churches. And there's this place called Intramuros. And Intramuros means in walls. So basically, Intramuros is a city that was built in a really thick wall like a vault like a fort so off we went and from Vita Cruz all you have to do is take a jeep right to wait I have a name you have to take the jeep right to oh no yeah okay you have to take the jeep right to um Quiapo Q U I A P O if you don't get um, Jeepney to that, you take the Jeepney to Divisoria. Divisoria. <clears throat> so either of it is fine. And um, what, what I suggest is after you reach uh, Quiapo, there is actually, uh, you just have to cross the bridge and there is this, the, the bridge was closed under construction, but we just went anyway. We just went like underneath a string and pushed open the doors and all. And we just went um, and across at the other side there is a church uh, where masses are often and it's open it's neat it's cute it's nothing like the ones that I'm going to go to later but it's cute and it's neat and so after that after we went to that church uh, we went to a market a really cute market and there at the market you can find really cheap apples and I bought I bought like I bought a bowl. I bought, I bought a bowl for, for, um, for like a really cheap price. This bowl is, this plastic bowl is like 10 pesos. 10 pesos is like 1 ringgit, uh, 80 cents, and 80 cents ringgit, 0 0.80 ringgit, and it's something like 20 to 30 cents USD. So this is really cheap. And so I bought it there, and I bought apples. Apples there is like three for forty, four for fifty, four for fifty pesos, and so it's really cheap. So I just bought the apples there. Did I buy apples? I bought apples. Yeah, I bought apples, and I bought apples there. And and then I found out that that was not actually the place for intermuros. There's actually another jeepney ride. The jeepney ride from Vito Cruz to um, Cuyapo. So yeah, this is how you pronounce it. Q U I A P O Q U A I P O. Can you read it? I'm not sure. Okay, so that's Grey Apple. And um, so that Jeepney ride is 12 pesos. And then from Grey Apple to another place called Pierre, P I E R. This is 8.5 pesos. And all you have to do is just hop on the, the Jeepney. And then this is gonna, they're going to drop you right in front of Manila Cathedral which is which is really nice it has um, beautiful sculptures it's free and when I went there was no mass um, but it was really beautiful uh, there was no underground world there is one that is nothing special um, but it was really nice really peaceful quiet and serene and so after I went to the Manila Cathedral I at first so basically what I was trying to go to the whole day was St. Augustine Church. And so when I first went to the one in um, Guiapo, this one, the one where he dropped me off near the market, um, I thought that was St. Augustine Church. I was like, okay, well, this shouldn't be rated so high in TripAdvisor. It's like, it's nice, but it's not like that nice. So, um, so I just, I thought that was St. Augustine Church. I was like, okay. And then I found out that it was not, and then I went to Manila Cathedral, and I thought, oh, Manila Cathedral is St. Augustine Church. And I was like, oh, okay, this is quite nice, this is quite nice. And then I found that it's not St. Augustine Church. I got even more excited. I was like, whoa, what is this St. Augustine Church? And uh, so in the 
in the end, um, in the end, um, from the Manila, Manila Cathedral is actually inside uh, Intra Intra. Did I keep forgetting the name? Intra Intra something. So Intra Intra Mos Intra Lumos in Intra Intra Intra. Intralumos, Intramos, in, in something. So it's inside that, and so that was, it's right in the middle. So, um, I have the map. Yep, I have the map. I'll show you guys the map. So, like my rotten map. So this is it. And if you can see, this whole thing is Intramuros. Intramuros. And so they'll drop you off right in the middle at Manila Cathedral, right here. And don't be fooled, guys. They're going to say that, um, like, from here to here, it's going to take a really long walk. It's, what, 64? I think they said it's 64 hectares or something. And, you know, that it's impossible to go without a trishaw. But I've done it. I've done it. And it's super easy. It's super easy. Like, I think um, from this place here, right? which is like right at about the middle to this side. I think I took le less than 10 minutes of walk. So it's really easy. Don't don't take the tri -shows. The tri -shows are at 300 pesos uh, for every 30 minutes, which is overpriced. It's, I think it's for two person. And then uh, somehow somebody managed to bargain, bargain, and, and they quoted me 100 pesos for 30 minutes, which I still refused because it's not worth it. But, I mean, if you're for the, like, really, really exhausted kind of person, kind of hate the sun and uh, hate to walk, and you really want a tour guide, then go for it. Go for 100 pesos. That's the lowest I got. You should aim for that. And um, so after Manila Cathedrals, uh, we just I just walked to the visitor center where I got this map. And at the visitor center, you can um, stop and... Um, ask for a map and you can also have this 12 minute documentary where it's like it's like a big chamber um a really big chamber where there's like movie movie stuff and then there's documentary on the um intramurals i didn't find it extremely informative but it's cold inside and it's all nice so it's like just spare 12 minutes and go inside and watch and then after that we went to fort santiago went to Fort Santiago and Fort Santiago uh, we paid uh, 50 pesos because I'm a student um, here it doesn't matter if you're an international student or if you're just a local student it's 50 pesos each but if you're an adult it's 75 pesos uh, they didn't ask me for my student card I just said two students and they said fine and Fort Santiago is really beautiful uh, what was I think what amazed me more was the Jose Rizal Museum um, I've studied about Jose Rizal in uh, I've studied about Jose Rizal in in high school and he, well a little bit so he fascinated me and then in the museum it was like it was awesome it was the best um, there was also like movie plays where you can watch about him and I mean he's so cool I mean he can draw he can paint he's a poet he's a sculptor he's a doctor he travels it's like the complete package and he's cute he looks, he looks really cute and so oh yeah I, I i i admire him and that he died for his country he died protecting his country is is even braver and there's this like little piece of paper where you can see the notes that he slipped to his parents um through a lamp after they put him in jail um for um like trying to save his country they, they put him in jail so uh you can see this notes and it was like really 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 touching i'm gonna put it up on instagram or facebook maybe and maybe in the captions i'll write the direct translation uh, of the philippines to english but yeah it was it was really meaningful really deep and i don't know i kind of I just stood there like just read i was just reading you know it was one to his brother one to his mother in the mother letter there was nothing he wrote nothing he just said to my dearest mother and i think he probably couldn't write anymore and just he wrote he just wrote, wrote his initial whole series all and it was just that it was just an empty letter and that was even more heartbreaking um to see 
but yeah, so that's that. And yeah, that was the Jose Rizal Museum, and that's in Fort Santiago. And in Fort Santiago, there's also beautiful ruins, really beautiful ruins, perfect for photography and all. And so after Fort Santiago, I uh, walked to um, the St. Augustine Church. Oh my god, this church. When we went to the church, there was a wedding going on, uh, like a full white dress wedding, like the real wedding, not a rehearsal, the real wedding. And um, so just to copy photos, uh, you're not allowed into the church when the wedding is going on. Uh, so I didn't go into the church. You can just stand outside and watch the wedding if you want to. Uh, but it was sad because the group never really kissed the bride. I'm not sure if that's common in Philippines. But yeah, they never kissed, never saw the scene. Um, <clears throat> so, and then after that, I went into the St. Augustine Museum. Now, the entrance fee for this is was 100 pesos for me, even though I'm a student. But the 50 pesos is only for local students, provided you have a student card or any kind of registration form saying that you're from Manila and you're a student, uh, which I don't. So I tried to convince them that I was teaching in um, Ateneo and, you know, I'm a student there, but she didn't believe me. So, well, fine by her. Um, so I paid 100 pesos, which is normal for adult standard adult fees, but it's worth every single bit. Like, you go in, it's just like, oh my god. It was like, it's a, it's a freaking castle. It's a freaking castle, which turned into a museum. Like, that's probably like the king's bedroom which is one set of one part of the museum and all and it was just beautiful you can see the courtyard there is it's i think i would say it's like scottish architecture though i'm probably not very good at all this but yeah it's probably scottish architecture it, it just completely transformed i feel like i was in i don't know vienna or somewhere like that and it was really beautiful and um there was like water fountain and just so big i got so exhausted walking it's like the dining table is like 50 steps you know so it feels like oh i'm just walking that little that little but you've actually walked that much i think it was like a kilometer square or something and so it was it was really exhausting but it's really beautiful you have art you have like um artifacts from the 1500s or the 1400s and it's just stunning if i'm not wrong it's one of the um UNESCO heritage site which should be I mean for every reason it should be it's an amazing museum I spent an hour in the museum and but just the funny thing was right when I was just at the point where I was exhausted I was like oh my god no more I'm not gonna see any more exhibition it, it ended so perfect timing and what else did I see in the museum um a lot of like you know dead people the urns yeah they keep it inside so i think the earliest was about 1600 which is really old so good good for that like i took a few photos of that and there's a lot of sculptures of jesus and christianity which was really fun to watch even though i'm not christian but hey it's still religion so yeah i mean and then after that um, right after you come out from intramuros uh i took a jeepney back to i took a jeepney back to Vita Cruz, Vita Cruz. I took a jeepney back to Vita Cruz for eight and a half pesos. So that was really cheap. And well, here I am, completely exhausted. But okay, I know I've turned a few shades darker, but yeah, I'm completely exhausted. I've been under the sun the whole day. I've been walking the whole day. I saved a bunch of money for doing that. Um, but yeah, let's do tweet, 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 tweet. So tonight at 9, I have a meeting with the rest of my EPs, which is actually just two other German guys. There's only three people in our project, and yeah, let's day three, 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 three. Bye! Tomorrow is day four. Bye!